Students and staff at Lowellville returned to school later this week after a shooting incident last Thursday. And for many, it will be with heavy hearts. Day after day, this close community continues to lean on each other for support. First News anchor Dave Sess has the story. A busy day making ribbons and signs in Lowellville. Everything in the school colors, blue and gold, all for the students to see Wednesday. It's really hard to do this, but at the same time, I am happy that I'm able to do this. The group is called Love for Lowellville. It's leading a charge to help the community bounce back after Thursday's shooting at school. It gives me peace doing this. Mm -hmm. Helena Moyer is a big part of this effort. The village is normally a quiet town, except for the occasional train rolling through. Lowellville's looking to bounce back and find the positive while moving forward with town pride. Like we want everyone to know that we support Lowville. We are Lowville strong. When something happens in the community, we all come together all the time. And we're just strong. That's exactly what the signs say which they're making. There are numerous signs and displays around Lowville, all hanging on the telephone poles on the route to the K-12 school. There's even a meal train organized to help the family of the student who shot himself in the school. They want that family to feel so I just want everyone to pray for us. Let's, let's be Lowville strong. Lowville will show its support for the students and teachers. Some will even wear special school color bracelets. The village wants everyone to know they are loved and plenty of support is available. This message for the whole world. The whole world needs to stand up and be aware of what's going on with your children. In Lowellville, Dave Sess, WKBN 27 First News.